Now then, coming up, they shot to fame on Britain's Got Talents last year. They've got fans all around the globe, and they're still just teenagers. Bars and Melody are with us this morning. There's this girl I know, she feels unknown. Just want to have attention, cries on her own. Got nobody to go to, she feels so scared. Doesn't want to go to school, cries in her bed. She got a couple friends, they think she's OK. Inside the pain haunts her day by day. She's close to giving up, she doesn't see the point. She just wants happiness, but emotions disappoint. She blames herself, it drives her mad. For every single little trouble that she's ever had, the pain she endures, you can see it through a shirt. Now, this hidden gem is from from Charlene Pritchard. It's a stunning location set in around a thousand acres of parkland. Oh, and if you're visiting the castle, bear in mind it has a long history of paranormal activity. Very excited. We're going to discover another hidden gem. Can we just point out uh, we've got uh, Bars and Melody with us and lovely Lucy, and uh, Leandra was just saying that you've slept in that castle. Yeah. That's haunted. Yeah, in my own castle. It was pretty scary, but you know what? I what thought kind it... of ghost? Um, I think it's like an old. Guy. She's like in Simon Cow? <laughs> similar. Very similar. Okay. He doesn't scare them though. No. He, he was good to he them. He loves oh, them. He's lovely. He <laughs> is lovely. So Britain's Got Talent is back this weekend. Uh, last year's runners up are here to chat about how the show is looking and music careers and how it's taken to new heights over across this year. Yeah, Teen Joe of Bars and Melody you saw. They backed a record deal with Simon Cow and now they have three hit singles. And Lucy Kay, who came second last year, has gone on tour with Calabra and is currently working on her new album. Should we take a look at them in action? This music and you sit, let it take you away and be hopeful, yeah. hopeful, and he'll make a way. I know, I know it ain't easy, but that's okay. So Lucy was just saying, you know all the words of that song. Yeah. To, to the boys' song. song. Yep. Yeah, a bit worried if she didn't know the words to her song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what about his, what, so, so could you give us a bit of Ness and Dorma then, Charlie? That one. I don't know if I can do that. Did he end That was pretty that good. Was great. Bad. Bad. Yeah, not bad. Bad. I'm going to say sorry for all of you. What an amazing year it's been for all three of you. Just, I mean, can you believe, Leandra, that it was so the year ago, this time last year, that your, your adventure was starting? I mean, it's crazy. Looking back at it now, I'm just thinking, has it actually happened? It's just like living a dream, but looking through the same eyes that you live in a dream. <laughs> and it's just like, it's just nuts for both of us, and we're just two normal kids, and it's happening, and we're just so grateful for it all. And what kind of reaction do you get now? We were looking back at your audition, weren't we, yeah. this morning, to remind ourselves at the moment how you just swept everyone away. It was so great when Simon Cowell pressed the golden buzzer. Mm. It was just brilliant, wasn't it? Um, what do you, reaction do you get now? Do people kind of still think of you as that act, or are you getting new people along um, the way? I think, like, the whole, like, Britain's Got Talent thing, I think, obviously, that's where people know us from, but we're kind of slipping away from that now. Like, we're not known as those kids from Britain's Got Talent anymore. We've, we've built our name and we've tried really hard to build ourselves around that name. Um, and yeah, I mean, uh, the, the fans are still really supportive and we're getting new fans along the way. And I mean, we've been out to Australia, been out to America and to even know that people even halfway across the world know who we are, it's incredible, so. Mm. And like, without our fans, you wouldn't be here. We just sold out our headline tour. Wow. So we're still on it. You just come here to just to on. drop in to say hello, <laughs> hello. <laughs> and tell everyone you're out yeah. there. So well, and and for you, Lucy, as well. I mean, when you think about what a year it's been and an, yeah. and an incredible experience, do you have to sort of pinch yourself to remind yourself that what happened? Yeah, I, thank you. I needed that. <laughs> um, I, you know, it's it's. I've always wanted to sing. I've always wanted to be on stage. I've always wanted to tour. And I've managed to do everything and bring out an album which also got to number one in the classical charts. And to, you know, to, I actually didn't even party. I was just on my own in a hotel room and I just realised that, do you know what, this is, this is what I've always wanted. And I, I'm getting to live that dream. And has it been what you expected it to be? Something that you, I'm all always wanted, but, you know, you're a bit older than the boys. Has it been what you thought it was going to be? Um, it's a lot of hard work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't go into the program thinking it's easy. It's not. <laughs> you do have to work really hard, but the end results are fantastic. You know, if you've got an album out and people are just loving it and, and going on tour, and I managed to go on tour with Andrea Bocelli and sing with one of my idols. So that Amazing. was, you know, fantastic.
Yeah. This is brilliant. Now, both of you have addressed bullying, haven't you? You in, in, in some of your lyrics, and you, we know your experiences that you went through school. And, and, and that must be very rewarding to know that that message is still out there, and people must really appreciate that. Yeah, we want to help people at the end of the day. And even our single Stay Strong, which has just come out right now, and uh, it's about helping people. And people who are going through a rough time tell them just to stay strong. And, like, no matter what you're going through, there's always light at the end of the tunnel. Brilliant stuff. Well, it's lovely to see you. I'm sorry I've got more time to chat. Good luck with the rest of the tour, Thank boys. You it's so great to see you as well. Thanks very Thank much you. for coming in. Uh, and I think Richard's speaking to the judges on tomorrow's oh, show, isn't he? Oh, how good. Britain's Got Talent kicks All off this session.